remember from the last video of touring my little tiny church, I didn't show you the bathroom and here it is in all that splendor. It's a tiny room, I can't even guess how many feet it is. First thing I managed to do was pebble the bath, which also gave rise to the fact of I could take the pebbles a bit further. So I found some rocks and I edged it making it look quite naturalistic. And then I thought, oh, I could have a shower in a waterfall. And I very much wanted to have a great big rain drop shower heads, but because I don't have enough pressure, I had to put up with this little plastic number here, which is perfectly fine for someone like me. The peacock came about because I think every artist has a peacock in them. I think the blues and the greens are just such a stunning mix. I even, th these pants even stand off as black and white and I filled them in with felt tips. I really enjoy doing this peacock. I had him outlined for about 15 years and kept telling the kids, I'm gonna do a peacock in the bathroom. He's gonna be walking along the wall and I'm gonna be showering with my eyes closed in a waterfall. Pretty much if you've got a bit of imagination, it feels like that. So I use the leaves as a background. Beautiful, very, very reflective green tile. I raised this up a bit to give it a bit of Bit of a wing power there. Saved these for about 15 years. I knew I had the beautiful Prussian blues. I knew I had the material. The tail I've actually built out with some chicken wire and then I put some, I skinned it with a bit of mortar mix before I used the cement adhesive and I've, I've used all glass on the tail just to get maximum reflection. It's very beautiful, different times of the day. These bits here came from Morocco. So a trip from Spain and Morocco. These are some of their ceramics and I used to pick them up as I walked around and it's nice when I'm showering, I can always think of Morocco and Spain. What became apparent was my normal, very, very normal pedestal sink and basin that was here was your white number. Got a plumber in here and told him I wanted to take it away and I found this little rubbish inorganic dump, just a big old sewage pipe. Now this was a seconds marble basin. And this is what I call my willy tap, which I got in Morocco. Needs a good clean, but oh, just had a little moment there. And it's rather lovely. You don't need hot and cold water. You don't need a lot of things. You get very lazy in life. Obviously you have to follow through and do a bit of sanding and uh, can't quite decide on the color yet. This is my very small grotto, I call it. I went from grotty to grotto. It was a really miserable little bathroom. It was really ugly, so. Uh, so I think it's, I think it's fun. I think it's great now. Anyone else could create this. I, like I say, didn't have a saw, it's nibbling away and pieces sort of speak for themselves. And I just treat it like an exterior job. I also did the ceiling with a sponge just to uh, give it a bit of relief and got that nice cloudy feel. All right, so this is my laundry. We've got a washing machine, a sink, this is about it. There's a mud room here. We've got somewhere to hang the coats. I did this peacock many years ago. Again, I think peacocks are great. You can't really go past the blue and green together. I really like everything to be practical, things to be simple, less to go wrong. Everything has to be just serviceable to me, either very beautiful and lots of fun or very practical. This is a ordinary door that was on here. I had a few things hanging around. I had the kids small at the time. And I really wanted to do something that would scare children or drunks, and it has done both. It's mostly the little people that are looking up into the crocodile's mouth. I have to say how cheap this is to make. Uh, I just took the door off the hinges, put it horizontal onto two stools, placed the articles onto the wooden back of the door, and poured some resin in it as per instructions. And it's been there for many, many years and had a lot of laughs and it's been worthwhile doing it as far as everybody has these. If I was to do it again, I would use those glow in the dark insects. And then you'd have something even spookier. Lots of fun. And here's the toilet for a very small room. Got a great eel, but only the men that have stood up get to see the eel. From a trip from Greece, I went to a landfill and found all these old bits of terracotta. My Medusa headed Greek God. I love the fact of the contrast of the terracotta and the real sparkly tile. It's just total opposites. And I think it works well together. And I think if you ever go for a trip, it's really nice. 
to bring back some memories and then you've got them forever. So these are just a few of bits and pieces left over. The printer's trays are classic because they're just the right size. You can get, get a lot into a small room if you think about it. Thank you.